guys, it's Vadiazzo back at another Pokemon Sun video. So I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and join to the Patreon. Let's get this one started. Today, we will finally move on to another city. But first off, yes. So first off, we have finally, I guess, gotten some more team members. I was trying to find a Rattata, not a Rattata, a Yungus, and I realized that you can only get it during the daytime, and I kept forgetting to go for it during the daytime, so I'm hoping that while I do this, it's going to turn daytime, then I can go get that Pokemon. Anyways, I've made some additions to the team, as in Grub, who is the Grubbin, if I'm correct, a bug type. Then we have Pichu, who's an electric type, where I found in three tries, because I was, actually no, I found it on my first try, which is stupid, I mean, great, I was trying to find a Yungus, but... I found it on my first try of actually trying to find Pichu, and I was only in the route for five minutes, and I only encountered four Pokemon, so that's pretty good, if I do say so myself. Let's go ahead and talk to the Tauros. And all those more, more or less be staying, I will get that Yungus eventually. Haha, <sighs> you see that? This rascal already loves you. Pokemon become happier when you show them some care. Oh, the places you'll go, child. And as you do, you will surely meet more Pokemon and people who will enrich your life. I was supposed to pet it. The Kahunas sure are amazing, eh? Able to catch a raging Pokemon without even needing to battle? Now that's something. I mean, I like Taurus plenty and all, but it's pretty scary. I don't want to ride on it. So, where are you two off to now? I was thinking I should head show Ezo around Halu City a bit. Nice idea. You're always on top of things, Lily. I didn't realize he was talking. Ezel, just got here to Aloha, huh? Then let me take you along too. I want to go get something to eat. Alright, let's all go together. Then what are we waiting for? This way, come on! Will this magically make it daytime so I can go catch that Pokemon? I don't even care for that Pokemon, that's the stupid part. Oh, how? I guess we should go catch up with him before he gets too far, Ezel. Aloha City is the biggest city in all Aloha. I think that's actually true. I'm not so sure if it is. I don't care, Rotom. I could care less about the Rotom Duck's opinion. This is really cool at night, but I feel like it'd be better in the day. Where I'm actually recording in the daytime. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with my 3DS this time, Loop. Yeah, because that would make more sense, just sunbathing and, you know, the sun. Beach time, yeah! Hey you, you've come to Aloha from someplace far off, haven't you? I can tell. Then let me teach you the proper way to greet someone in Aloha. Aloha! You give it a try, too, just like that. Aloha! You'll make fr more friends if you say it. Don't care, Rotom. Back to how... Is he still over here? No, he is not. Oh, might as well talk to random people. Look, catch. Would you stop? I know they're squishy, but there's no reason to throw Pikumi at me. Throw a Pokeball if you must throw something. Well, okay then. I guess that must be a type of Pokemon, so hopefully... What is this thing? This is such a weird angle to hold it at. Okay, I'm gonna assume this is what the guy we're talking about. Hey, a Slowpoke! We have one too. Slowpoke really has its own tempo, huh? It's never confused by other Pokemon's moves. It's too slow to get confused, or to take a hint. Leave me alone already, would you, Slowpoke? Is that true? Can Slowpokes never get confused? I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Like, that has to be wrong, but... I can't prove it wrong, so... I'm not gonna bother trying. God damn it. Hey, Azul! I thought I recognized the sound of those feet. So what do you think? Aloha is something, eh? Aloha, Aloha has got to be the best place ever to live. Oh yeah. Hey Azul, come with, me. come in here with me. I got an idea of something you could do. Hey Miss, is it true that you can, that you can get some kinds of special gifts if you have a Rotom Dex? My goodness, you got the news fast. Hardly anyone has a Rotom Dex, but it's true that we have a special item to go with it. It's our very own Poke Finder. Here you go. Awesome. Isn't that awesome, Azul? You got a Poke Finder. So, like, what's a Poke Finder? The Poke Finder is a tool that lets you take photos of Pokemon. Rotom will help point out places and where you'll be able to take photos, too. Here, I'll read you the instructional manual. 
Tap on Rotom or press R. Yep, that's that's all it is. Quite simple, isn't it? Man, that Rotom Dex is cool. It's like a whole other partner, as a, I mean, on top of your Pokemon partner. Oh, but I guess since it's Rotom inside, it's pretty much is a Pokemon partner. Either way, you're pretty darn lucky. Meet you outside when you're done in here. The photos you can snap of Pokemon with a Poke Finder, they are simply too cute to resist. Is this a shopping place? Or like a place to change clothes? It looks like it to an extent. Never mind, apparently I'm wrong. I know it's in this town somewhere because I really want to change my outfit, but I don't know where it is. But I'm pretty sure we're close by to it. Ezel, how? Did you visit the Taurus Bureau? How was it? We got this Rotom Dex upgraded. Now it can take pictures too. What a wonderful helper you are, Rotom. Ah, my eyes. Oh, this would be great, Thunder Material. Huh. Uh, what was that for, Rotom? Go and put that little trickster back in your bag, Ezel, and you follow me. Enough fe feasting your eyes. It's time we take care of our stomachs. Maybe Rotom just wants to flaunt his new camera function and take more photos. Have you thought about trying it out? I think I'll go stop by the apparel shop to do some shopping on my own. Yeah, and if I'm correct, this guy? And never mind. Yo, trainer, take a look. And this is the guy I was talking about. You lucky kid, if you've got a Poke Finder, then I guess I'll give you a little tip. No, please don't. I was going to do everything in my power to avoid this. See that spot where the wall is cracked? That's a photo spot right there. Look at that. Your Rotom is trying to tell you too. Give, it, give him a tap. This is my least favorite function of all of Pokemon, and I was trying to avoid this. I knew it would come eventually. You can move the camera around all circle pad. It's always a good idea to try looking at the world from all kinds of different angles. When the time is ripe and you found the framed perfect shot, press R or the A button. Each time you fire up the Poke Finder, you can take six picks before you run out of space. Random picks. And we've gotten a good amount of picks, I gotta say. Not like I care. What kind of photo do you want to show the world? Um. None of these are my style, so I'm going to go with this one because it's the most centered. Yes. This is the best shot you've got? Yep. Photo's been uploaded and the comments are already pouring in. Don't care. Alright, I forgot. This happens. You've hit a high record, kid. You're just blowing me away. 714. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, just do a little bit further and don't give up. Alright, if you hit a certain number, he will evolve, I think, or get an upgrade. Not like I care for it. Did you get a good shot? I hear it's I hear it's best to try the photograph from the font, you know? If you want to find, know more about the Poke Finder, well, just keep on taking tons of pics. Well, I mean, you know, I could honestly care less about this. I rarely do it. I mean, half the time I do do it just so I can get the upgrade, because I'm curious about what it is, but I never actually do it for the sake of me loving it. Oh, Ezel, tell me, do you pick all your clothes out on your own? Yes, actually. Besides this outfit. Of course, most people do, don't they? I, I've always just worn the same clothes that my mother wanted me to wear. I don't really know what kind of things would suit me. Oh, but that's why I stopped you. I meant to give you this, Ezel. I received it inside the apparel shop here. I didn't even buy anything, but they said I was their 99,999th customer to visit the store. But I already had the same one, so I thought maybe you might want it. Okay, we got a lens case. That's cool. It looks like we have something in common now, don't we, Ezel? I will now be changing my clothes to something that better suits me. Fuck Pokeballs. I've already stocked up because I'm only planning on catching that young goose. And I already caught the Pichu that I more or less wanted. So let's go ahead and focus on the clothing because that's what actually what I give two shits about. Uh, no to the tank top. I don't like tank tops at all. These are all tank tops, aren't they? Oh, wait. No, we got tees. Yay. Okay, I'll take these. Is there a beige one yet? Oh, there's a beige one of the T-top, which means it has to be down here somewhere. What does the polo shirt look like? Mmm. I like the polo shirt slightly more. Is there a, um... Oh. Yes. Okay. Give me this. Uh, let's see. What else do I want? 
Nope, okay, Colec T. Oh, those are actually cool. Where's the beige version of this? Ooh, there is a beige version of it. I'll take this one, actually. Too bad I can't sell the other one, but I'm fine with this. Uh, let's see, pants. Let's get the beige, because the beige looks cool to me. It's the closest thing they have to brown here. Beige, screw style, screw color coding. I am not one for style, I just pick whatever I see as my favorite color. Mmm. I like the white strip more. I still have a crap ton of money. And I can't have accessories. Yes, put on my latest purchases. Behold, the beige boy has come. Where, how do I enter my focus scanner again? Uh, tra trainer passport. Damn it. I thought I could uh, do a close up on this. Wait, wait, no, I, I know how to do it. Where is the thing? Yes, in here. Uh, change clothes. Wait, I can change my contacts too? Hell yeah, baby. And perfect, I now have thumbnail material. Hopefully the camera can see it perfectly enough. Now, do I want to change my contacts? No, don't you dare leave. Oh, there we go, they updated my photo ID. Thank you, game. Now back in here I go. Because I actually want to change my contacts, depending on what I can pick. Um, ah, brown, my favorite color. Or do I go with hazel? I'm going to go with brown, see what it looks like. Yes! I don't even know what my color contacts were before, but I don't care now, it's brown. And I go! Yay! Save! So nothing can stop this, because my camera's still going. Good. Continuing on with the journey now! Anyways, continuing on! I know I can get some Pokemon here, but there's only one other Pokemon on this route I want, and I could not care for it right now. Do my Pokemon need healing? Because I forgot if I healed last time. Nope, or if they do, too bad. Wait, when did you get an item? Oh, I gave you the Quick Claw. Right, I forgot about that. I forgot I actually gave items to Pokemon for once, which is something I never do averagely. I saw those Team Skull and Gnome Skulls laudering around the marina again. I reported it to the captain, of course. This is what happens when young people have nothing to do and too much time on their hands. What a bunch of useless thugs. All they do is drag tr trainers into battles they don't want to, and try to steal people's Pokemon. I heard they keep trying to sneak into the trial site to steal Pokemon to sell, and they, they fail every single time. Yeah, we heard something about Team Skull towards the Marina Rotom. You don't need to catch us up about this. You know what, let's actually try to see if I can catch a Pokemon, because there was an item over here, so... Oh, okay, it was just a person jumping up and down. I was wondering what that was moving. Anyways, into this because there's some new Pokemon we can catch here, but I more or less want this item, but I will, if I counter a Pokemon, I'll fight it to the death and see what happens. Is there anything new that wants to show up, or is nothing going to show up? We have a... Wingull! I am disappointed in this. You know what? If it survives the peg like I've been doing, it gets to, it deserves to be caught. If it doesn't, hey, quick claw. Wait, no, wait, no, 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 do not tell me that I wasted it. Please do not tell me that I wasted the Quick Claw. No, no, don't tell me I wasted a Quick Claw because of that. If I knew it gets wasted, I wouldn't have to equip it to it. Did I waste the Equip Claw? I mean, Quick Claw. Okay, thank God I didn't. I'm not stupid. Uh, Great Ball. Then again, I might be stupid because I just used a Great Ball on a Pokemon. It probably would have caught anyways. I mean, is it going to catch? Yay, Kot, you don't deserve a nickname because you are not going on this team. I'm trying to make Pokemon that have Alolan forms, or are Alolan Pokemon, to be on this team. And this has neither of them, unless it has a secret one. Oh, Striver, what were you? Who did I call Striver? Oh, uh, the Pichu, right. I forgot what I called the Pichu. Its name is Striver now. Because I like Striver as a name. It was meant to be Striker. I clicked V on accident, and I just kept the name V because I liked the sound of Striver, despite the fact it kind of sounds stupid to me. Anyways, continuing. Great, we have another Pokemon. Please do not be the thing that always shows up here. Oh. Oh, my MVP from my first playthrough of ever of a Pokemon game. Um. Don't run away. I should have used a Great Ball on this. Kind of don't want to waste a Great Ball, honestly. Please catch. Damn it. Well, there goes Abra. Uh, if you don't know what Abra is, it's kind of like 
or at least in my opinion, it's one of the worst Pokemon to encounter because you get one shot on it unless you have just a Diglett that prevents it from running away. And after that, you just kind of got to rely on luck for the Pokeballs to catch it, which I went so long for just to catch an Abra because I really like Abra. And I've never actually owned an Alakazam. I've owned a Kadabra and I just never owned an Alakazam because I refused to trade it. How's it, Ezul? If you're looking for great eats, come in. Plus, my salt. Not so sure what that word is. Make your Pokemon like you. An affectionate Pokemon are b do better in battle. Who could resist giving their Pokemon a few Masadas, eh? They're just so cute. Now that I've got some feel in me, I want to go right down to the marina and scream out loud. Watch me, Tutu! No. Watch me, world! I'm going to beat even my old Gramps someday. Well, okay then. You know what? Let's check inside this place because I'm actually curious what it looks like now. How are we doing on the camera? Okay, we're doing that. God, this music is so cheery, and yet I hate this place so much. Ugh. This was my least favorite game, and yet this music is part of the reason why I still like it. What kind of... Okay, what does this do? Does it just make them happier? Sweet Minnesota. Uh, yeah, sure, give it to Robin. I want him to be more affectionate towards me, if anything. Why don't you find yourself a seat? I'll bring it to you. Okay, wait, do I have to fight people for this? Is this like the thing from Pokemon X and Y? Time for you to feed your hungry Rowlet. Okay. Oh, it's eating. Is it happy? Okay, its affection went up. Not so sure if that's gonna affect my battles. I hope it doesn't make me too good. Hello, how are you doing, Mr. Machamp? I mean Machoke. I always forget these are Machokes because they have four arms. Or is it Machamp that has four arms? Okay, I don't know anymore. Uh, what about you? I don't know what we'll be doing here, but at least we've compacted it to the soil with a good bulldoze. You gotta start from a firm base, you know? No matter what you're building. Okay, into the Wiser police station over here. Here's some advice, trainer. If you're gonna stand up to tough opponents, then we'll be willing to use items in our Pokemon. You can help get them stronger. I mean, yeah. Speaking of which, did I actually use up the Quick Claw? Okay, good. I'm just stupid. I don't understand how the Quick Claw works because I never equip my Pokemon with shit. Fight me, because I know what's coming after this. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Why are you here? Greetings, it's me, Captain Lima. Yo, 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 check it out. Whenever, whenever we meet you, Team Skull don't even greet you. Oh, God, please don't. I'll give them this. I hate them as a collective thing, but I love their music. Or, not love, but like... So, Cap, just give up the Pokemon, yo! Oh, you, from the trainer school, already made your way to Hollow from, hmm? What? What? What are you trying to act so hard? Act hard when you're we're already hard as bone out there, homie. Yo, let's check out these fools. Oh, my, how terrifying. Only thieves steal people's Pokemon. I won't stand for it. Ezra, was it? Uh, I'll ask you to take care of that one. I'll get rid of this one. You know what? I was gonna show these people mercy. Now I don't want to. So you know what? In the next one, I'm going to brutally throttle this man's ass. And when I say brutally throttle, I mean no holds barred, fight to the death. I'll see you all then. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, go to the Patreon. Join the Discord, follow the Twitch, and subscribe to the second channel focused on Beyblade. And don't forget to check us out.